Yo, what's going on guys? It does here and I'm excited to bring to you guys my how to play Astra tutorial the in-depth Astra tutorial and how I think she should fit into the meta and how you should use her. I'm super excited to show you guys this and again, thank you to Riot for giving me the opportunity to play test this agent early and let's hop right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Ethos here. Just wanted to say all these clips are taken from my stream. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash ethos and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell and join my Discord server down below. Enjoy the video. Let's get right into how her abilities work first. So first off, you're going to see that there's these five rings at the bottom of her thing right here, right? Those are basically like her ability charges, right? Uh, it's basically five ability usages so she can have five smokes five stuns or five sucks all right and i'll show you guys what I, exactly those are right now but basically what you have to do is first to it's a little confusing right so you have to purchase these stars they cost 200 credits per star and you get two free stars every round to place these stars you have to press x your ultimate key and you go into this astral form and it allows you to literally place down these stars anywhere on the map. Now enemies can see these from anywhere, but they cannot break them. So they, they'll know they're there and they'll see them and hear them get placed, but they cannot break them. So you put these stars here, it takes a second to register, right? And you can place up to five uh, in a round. Now once they're placed, you can now use your abilities. Before, if you're not using a star, you cannot use any of your abilities. Go to target a star. I'm pressing all my ability keys. Without a star, I cannot. I can't do it. So you have to have a star down first before using an ability. Which is the ability, once you have the star down, now you can choose what that star becomes. That star can either become a smoke, a stun, or a suck. So a smoke Obscuring looks like this, vision. right? And you can see now we've started the recharge timer. It takes 15 seconds to recharge one smoke, and you can have up to two smokes at once. Kind of like the omen smoke now we have the stun which stuns everything in this circle and stuns just like a breach stun and then we have the suck so this was interesting it, it sucks everything in this circle it's kind of like a slow and then when it pops it's like an alarm bot see i'm invulnerable now right and you also have the option of bringing back your star and using it for later in the round note though that you will not have this star for the next round once you've placed it down Kind of just like how you can't pick up a trip and save for next round with a cypher or an alarm bot when you take it back it pops out of smoke for two seconds and it goes back in and there's a short five second recharge on uh before you can use that star again and see how it's yellow now her ult the cosmic divide is something like this you right click and you can uh, you right click in your astral form and you can create this global wall that spans across the entire map that blocks both vision, sound, and bullets. So again, you right click and then you left click and now you see this giant wall and you can also see it on the mini map right here. You can see this giant line across the mini map right here and you can literally split anything. You just left click to drop it and this wall will last for 20 seconds. And in these 20 seconds, bullets, sound, and vision will not pass through this wall. Abilities and people can still go through those, so watch out for that. But it will block things like raised rockets and I think sage slows, maybe? I don't know. I, not all abilities pass through, I don't think, because I've shot a raised rocket, assuming it would go through, but it didn't. So not everything goes through, but most abilities do. So now that I've shown you guys what the abilities are and what they do and how to use them, let me show you how to actually use them in an actual game. So starting off on offense, this is what I see her doing. So I see her as a fantastic IGL agent. This agent will be really good for IGLs to use because she can set up an entire exec, set up fakes, and literally have a top-down view of the map kind of where she can see her teammates and where the abilities are going. One example round that I can uh, think of is maybe using her smokes like this, where you can put, you know, the normal smokes for like C, right? CT and garage, right? And then you have, you know, your entire uh, team, the four of them by C long, and they're like darting, they're droning, right? They're figuring out where the enemy team is playing from, right? They're saying, oh, they're back plat, then you can put one here. Or if maybe they're on top of plat, put one here. Or if they're back site, put one here. Or if they're playing logs, put one here. Or if they're playing in the cubby, uh here or here you know literally this is all zoning flush util right this will basically help your teammates just get on the site because it will get rid of all these positions that enemies uh defenders cannot play anymore 
So once your teammates are ready to go, you can literally stay in astral form and pop it like this. Just pop the smoke, and then you can pop a stun, and then a suck. Or you could do a stun and a suck, or you could do a stun and a suck, you know. You can you can really change your uh, your flush util accordingly to where your teammates are saying that uh, they found people at. And this entire time, I've been in spawn, and now I can come in and flank garage late, or just go back to sea long with them, you know? You can do this on literally any part of the map. You don't have to be with the team, but you can still direct the team and help set up almost a full execute. Now, pairing this with Jet Dash, Breach Flash, Sky Flash, all these things, Omen Flash, would be insane. It would be amazing, right? Obviously, in the meta, I think she'd probably replace someone like Omen on most maps, but having that pretty much almost full set exec from one agent where she can command that entire thing is kind of crazy now also let's go on to fix so one other thing you can do is throw fakes right if you set up all your stuff for a right and like let's say you put like four down right and then you can pop two right so it seems like you're hitting a but then really your team's entire even you is, are all grouped up outside c and you pull these back maybe to sell the fake you can have a jet dash in with the smokes or you know a breach flashing up or a sova darting but the whole idea is that you can literally sell a fake from any part of the map it's like really making viper super obsolete in my opinion but it's just kind of crazy and again all your abilities recharge so if you don't want to actually use smokes you can have five stuns or five sucks or five smokes if you wait for them to recharge you don't necessarily have to use two smokes a stun and a suck because you have five charges for a reason that you can always have an extra charge and you can just use them however you want obviously on t side you probably want to use uh at least two smokes or something to get your teammates on a site like this for c or uh c link and a link for b or you know heaven and ct for c uh for a but on top of that, you still have three more charges to use accordingly to help flush people out or throw fakes. One other great play uh, is something maybe like you could, you know, throw something like that. And then you could uh, pop a smoke, the stun, and maybe even uh, suck here and then have your jet dash in with that while people are getting completely just discombobulated in garage, right? I think that she could really fit well in a very Vision Striker-esque kind of team and playstyle where there's she's constantly setting up her teammates for these aggro kills and helping her teammates get on the side. She is a fantastic asset to any team, uh, especially on T side. Now moving on, let's go into defense. On defense, on a normal round, I think that she's best played as like a kill jewel where she can just set up her util to delay execs and just mess with people's execs from all across the map right so one example i like to show people is like maybe she can set herself up like this right kind of like how a killjoy would set up her mollies right to help zone and just kind of make it difficult for the offenders to path into the site so she could set up like two on a uh one on b maybe one on garage and then one like front c right it's important that she has them down already by the time that they exit she has to have them up so she can just immediately activate them. if you wait to put them down and then activate when the team is already entering into the site you're going to be too late because when you put down an ability it takes about a second to charge up and in that second the team will already be dashing in don't even count the time that you have to enter this form and then find the place to put it down and then help your team right so it's important to have these down already and remember you can pick them up as well in the round so there's no worry and you also get two free ones every round so i hate when i see people try to do it on the fly and i think it's definitely more important to just have them down to have them ready to help your team out so obviously you know if they come a right you can hit them with a stun or and a suck or sorry it's a suck and then a stun right so i know i'm calling it a suck but it's really something else it's actually a gravity well, but you know, suck is <laughs> funnier to me. So you could do that, right? And help play off those, right? Kind of like a Killjoy would. And just kind of, while they're getting sucked and whatnot, you can just fight them, right? While they're, while they're getting stunned and sucked, maybe your teammate's darting or flashing as well. You can fight them and you get some free kills, right? Or you can have them set up here, right? Let's say they're hitting uh, B. Then you can pop the one on B, just like this. Blocking vision. Or uh, that's a smoke, but <laughs> you can make that a stun or a suck. And now you're B player from B-Link right or, uh, or 
a link or c link now they have something to help fight the enemy team when they're rushing in so you can now assist your team from across the map and now let's say that they're, they're doing a c split you can come here and literally pop okay a sub and then a stun and now you can help your teammates who are playing garage and on c without even having to be there and when they're doing a c split you can now pull these back these three right remember you can pull them back and use them later in the round it take five seconds to recharge but by the time you rotate over to c for the retake now you have three more charges to use for the c retake here like this you can put one here for smoke for uh c long of course and then you can put your last two here like this so now you can pop the smoke and then flush out these two annoying post plant positions and help your teammates come into sight and take the site and now you guys have bomb a bomb site control and try to defuse and win the spam war I also want to note though that her smokes are pretty small. Uh, they're kind of like brimstone smokes in oh, the way that, like, look at this. This is just tiny. It's so tiny, right? Like, it's not an omen smoke. It's not a viper smoke, right? But they can still block off most angles. Also, with this agent, you can't throw one ways, right? So one one way smoke that I think would be really strong is something like this, right? Where you can literally, if they're running up A short, Consume you can literally pop Consume these up, and, like play like here or something, and they literally can't see you at all, or like play from back here. Or over here while your teammate watches long or whatever right like literally just can't come up here there's just no way that they're gonna be able to see default from here this position is all the way up here also her wall is extremely strong for fakes and for helping your teammates get out or blocking a spam so imagine remember when i was telling you guys about the whole c retake thing you have three here so one there one there one there and you pop a smoke uh, a suck and a stun help your teammates get out the site right and then on top of that you can even pop your ult once you guys get on the site and right click remember and left click and then pop it like this well divided and now this annoying plant like spot this. will not be in danger of bullets anymore. The enemy team will have to either have to run through it or throw mollies or alts or whatever to get through this. Another strong thing you can do is use this on exex or post plants, right? When I use it on exec, you can do something like this. Well divided! You know, where like, you know, you guys can get up to site and if a garage player wants to want run through, they have no idea how many people are on site, they have no idea where they are, and you guys can run all the way on the site and just kill the guys who are on site, right? And the CT right here, they might actually be able to creep up on the logs or whatever, uh, which this actually might be a problem, but at the end of the day, like, they still have to peek out through this wall and die. And also, for offense, you can use the wall as a post plant tool. Let's say the bomb is planted, like, I don't know, like right, right here, there. right? And then you can literally wall do something like this. Where the enemy team will literally have to run through this wall blind without knowing uh, where you guys could be playing from and they can't stick it behind a smoke, right? So you guys could literally play up on site and they'd have to run through this wall. Or maybe that's not the best. One. Maybe you could even do a wall like, let's say if it was planted like that. Well divided! Like this. So they take back side, they're gonna have to run through this blind as well, right? This actually helps out a lot. So you can plant it like right here. I don't know. They have to run through this and they have no idea where you guys could be right playing there. from. You can also set up a lot of cool uh, combo plays with your teammates, uh, like with Raze or Killjoy. Right? You could you could pop Util off of a Killjoy contact, a Killjoy turret contact, or you could have like stuff sort of like this. Um, or like you have a suck on the on the bomb site right so when they try to plant you can pop a suck and a stun and then you can have a sova shock dart default or a raise nade drop on default and if they're gonna be sucked and stunned and also invulnerable they're gonna die immediately so it's really strong there this agent is definitely extremely strong she's not a very selfish agent so for you duelists and whatnot like me uh it might not be the best but she is definitely very uh strong in team play and i think we'll definitely see her in competitive play and i can't wait to see how you guys use her to actually go and, and win games like i think she could go and win ranked games if your teammates can you know play off her well as well but that about does it guys i don't want to overload you too much with all this different ideas and theory crafting right but this about settles it for the basic fundamentals of how to play astra if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to comment like and subscribe thank you again to riot for letting me play i really loved playing with this agent i think she's really cool and i really like how she meditates hey look, look at this look at this look at this it's like she's meditating you know she's like literally meditating doing this like she's levitating and meditating that's just the coolest thing ever and you also get out of the astral form really quickly as well 
but yeah if you guys have any questions make sure to let me know down in the comments below um thank you guys again so much for watching the video i love you guys so much and uh make sure to stick around for more astra content and more uh act two episode two act two content because uh we got plenty in store for that so uh, yeah peace out guys love you peace